We're building a house ourselves, and we bring you each stage of construction in this home building series. In the previous episode, I laid the horizontal sewage system, and in this video, I'll show you how we tackled formwork for the foundation slab, filling it with macadam and laying the composite reinforcement mesh. In the video, you can see that after precise measurements of the foundation strips, we drilled anchors to secure the wooden formwork in place, ensuring it wouldn't shift during assembly. Using a rotary laser, we measured the height of the foundation slab and made marks on the outer row of anchors. The inner row of anchors had marks 16 centimeters lower, as per the project's design, indicating the height of the foundation slab. We assembled the inner formwork to the measured height and gradually filled it with approximately 12 cubic meters of macadam using the 16 to 32 fraction specified in the project. We compacted it thoroughly with a rental vibrating plate for $20 per day. Next, we removed the inner formwork and cleaned the foundation strips from any remaining macadam debris. We completed the outer formwork to the required height and reinforced the entire frame with battens and beams. All the timber for the formwork was purchased from the local sawmill as second quality, and after stripping it from the foundation slab, we'll reuse it during subsequent work. Instead of the traditional iron reinforcement mesh, we opted for a composite mesh made of basalt alloy, which is lighter, stronger in tension, easy to work with, and, most importantly, much cheaper. We had its use approved by the structural engineer in advance, saving us $1,000 right from the start of the construction. Binding this mesh is extremely simple with a one-eye overlap. Below the mesh, we laid out leftover bricks and stones to prevent it from resting directly on the ground. Everything is ready for pouring concrete. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos from the Building a Brick House series.